morning guys. Or should I say afternoon actually, because it's currently half past twelve. I was I'm off today and I thought I'd have a lazy day. I expect Tally do you know do nothing. But it is currently 20 no 17 degrees. So I thought let's go for a drive. So what I've done, I've actually driven to the Mithka. I'm gonna go to the palace and have a quick look around. Can't go inside because you have to pay. And I'm gonna go to possibly the Kelpies at Falkirk and onto the Falkirk wheel. So I'm just currently walking up the driveway to the palace, which is right behind me. There it is. So this is where Ashir was when you fall. But on the wall behind me, actually here, I'll just show you guys it'll be easier. They've got plaques of the monarchy. So all the way along. Keep going. Actually, we're actually going backwards, I just realised, so... To Mayor Queen of Scots. And this is where the Mayor Queen of Scots was actually born. This is the church, this is St Michael's, I think. Yeah, St Michael's. One of our fans got married there. Okay. Amazing church inside. I don't know if I can go in, we'll see. Might be able to. Alright guys, so I'm just standing outside the palace, okay? I'm not gonna go in today, but to give you an idea, April September is open from 9.30 till 7.30 and it's 7.20 for adults and 5.40 for children. And then from October to March, it's open all year round, it's open from 10 till 4. Um, I have taken a picture, so I'll put a picture in of those times in the year. Uh, pass this for you now, alright? There, there is a car park up here. I didn't park up here though, because sometimes space is limited. This car park is only for people who are attending the church and going to St Michael's. So St Michael's Church and the palace. I, would, I, I do want to do it one day. I don't think Ashley will do it with me though, because. As I said, this is her part of the world. We, I think can go right up. I need to really go into like one day. So you've got palace on one side, church on the other. I've just told Ashley where I am and she just laughed on me, on my emoji, on my phone. But the thing is, right, so, palace, palace, you work your way around, and you get to the lock, the Lithgo lock. It's very picturesque, it is beautiful, you know. It's just amazing. So peaceful as well. You can actually walk around the outside of the whole thing as well. So I'm currently, I was not going in it today. You can walk around the outside. I don't want to get the grass because I'm trying to vlog and walk down steps is not a good idea. It's very steep though, so maybe a step is the best point forward. So peaceful. Right, if I do sneeze, guys, I do apologise because they've just got the grass and 
my view has gone through the roof. Probably because I'm not taking a bath yet because I thought it was too early. Sorry. But it is absolutely beautiful. You know, sun is out. I need to know what this bit is. I don't really know what it just says. Danger, no climbing on walls, but. I don't know, I guess you can go up. You don't want to do that though. It's so warm, guys, as well. Let's cut to the grass. There's a few midges today, look. So I'm guessing they're doing some work on the palace. Because I've got barriers up. Kind of ruins it a little bit, though. Not gonna lie. So on the lock, I've got a jetty for the boats in and out. I don't know what this is. Here. I don't know, like a boat club or something. I don't really know. Yeah. We have walked around this a long, long time ago. It is quite far. This is only half of it. You know, the path goes right round the outside, so there's this path all the way. Go on this tree, it goes like somewhere like this and then back in and it goes long way. Long way. Alright guys, so I've walked around the whole palace. I don't want to view the show or most of it. Because it's all the same really. I don't want to take you inside, but I've got my wallet today, so I can't do that unfortunately. Let's see if we can go inside St. Michael's Church and just show this stained glass windows on the inside because they are amazing from what I remember. Let's have a look. Hi right, guys, so I'm inside the church, so I'm just going to be quiet for a minute, okay? Alright guys, so I'm just coming out of the St. Michael's Church. I did see some videoing before this bit. I didn't speak at all, out of courtesy, because there were some people that were praying and, you know, I wasn't there to interrupt anybody. So yeah. So, graveyard at St. Michael's. So my next stop on my scenic adventure are going to be the Kelpies. So what I do with that, I'm going to walk my car, not to get one over. Because what I do walk is a road to start off with. As you can see, there's a car right behind me. You get a bit of a big one. So I'm actually going to go, I'm going to go a different way to the car. And see if I can find it. I'll just swing this round a little bit. So speed limit 5 miles an hour, that's normal. <laughs> I don't know what this house is. I think, it's, I think it's something to do with the ground to the castle, maybe. It's start with Scotland Ranger Service. There we go. It says it on it. So this is a map of the lock to give you an idea the size of it. So we are here. Actually, mum and dad live somewhere here, maybe. I don't know. There's a statue. That must be Mary Queen of Scots. I'm guessing. Yeah. 
So Mercury and Scots, 1542 to 1587. She's only young, we lassie. But you will notice these are everywhere. So this bit is called the Lost Gardens. They're everywhere around. I never actually noticed before. This gives you a quick. And there's. I'll show you. Zoom in a little bit. There's the Palace of Heyday. I'm guessing. Right. Now let's try and find the car. And down the steep. Maybe not. Maybe I'll go back to the end. Because if I was younger, I'd probably go down there. Let's go down here. Let's see. Let's try not to kill myself. Yay! I didn't die! <laughs> Alright. My car's over there. Somewhere. So, I think I've got to go down. I'm going to go down to come back up because I'm over here because I came up to get to the palace so I do mumble when I'm on my own though and for that I do apologise but it's a nice sunny day and I want to stay inside and in a second I'm going to go meet somebody who's helping us redesign the channel so that's very exciting I'm just going to go across the grass Oh, blue bells. How oh, nice. It's very steep. And I'm probably not wearing the trainers for it because my other trainers are in the car. So what I'll do, I think, I might change my shoes when I get back. But it's still the lock. I really don't know how I parked the car. Oh, I'm in that. Okay. I'm in that car park. So I had, oh, so. Oh, someone's fishing on the lock. That's quite cool. So the worst thing is, guys, I came down that massive hill and I gotta go up the hill. Why don't I just put a space in the build a gate? <laughs> I think the car's this way. I've got no idea. No idea whatsoever. Well, it's safe to say it's not in this car park. Next one, because another bit. This one looks very familiar. I can see some cars I recognise. That's a bonus. Okay, so I'm at the car park at the palace. Give you a quick idea, right? There's a tariff. Compared to Edinburgh, that's a pinch of salt. On this machine. So what I have to do on the machine, right? You have to enter your number plate because the ticket is obviously valid for your number plate. Don't know how that works really. You put your number plate in, you press OK. You put your money in, you press OK. You get a ticket. The ticket must be displayed on your dashboard. Mine is, and there's my car. But I shut my number plate twice because I, I've. I think it's, I think it's X, it's N to an O, but it doesn't end in a D. So, I've made it back to the car, yay! Right guys, next bit on my day off adventure is Helix Park. This is home to the Kelpids. And I've just noticed it's a green flag. So it's got a green flag award for 2018-2019. Which is awesome. Um, I've just taken a map of the area to show you what's here and what's not. Uh, so I'll put that in for you right now. So that's in for you now. I'm just going to head to the Kelpies and see what they are. From what I can see on the map, this part is called the wetlands. Because you can see it's all grassy on a hot day like this. Probably would be dangerous. You know, someone dropped a cigarette or something. Gone. So I hope no one does, but it is very peaceful 
apart from the massive plane flying above my head. <laughs> Which would freak out if she was here. And there's what's called the wetlands, because there's water. So beautiful and so peaceful. The reeds are coming up. Okay, guys, I'm just coming to the site of the kelpies. Let's go and zoom in a little bit so you can see them. You can actually see two horses' heads right in front of us there. Okay, note to self don't park in the first park at car park you see. Because the car park I'm in is in the Helix Park. So in the Helix bit, there's a massive playground kids that kind of thing i won't go there because it's kids you know i can't vlog it um there is a second car park which i'm coming up to now which is actually right next to the covers someone just looked at me I don't know if to them. obviously vlogging and i'm in falkirk who vlogs in falkirk me obviously weirdo yeah so yeah parking the closest car park to the covers but saying that's a nice day so it's always worth a walk Right guys, so I'm now at the heat, the Kelpies hub. So there's stairs in front of me, and it says, wheels this way, stairs ahead. Right, if you can't see these stairs coming on your bike, something is definitely, definitely wrong. But I've just taken a picture of this, so I'll just put this in for you now anyway. Just to show you, real quick. So what I do guys, I'm going to put that picture in for you right this very second. Okay, so up the stairs we go, where bikes are not allowed. You can probably come down on your bike, I'm being honest. Okay, the canal is right here. Unsure which one this one is. There's two canals that meet at the Kelpers. Do not use this ramp because it's missing some wooden slats. And now look at that now guys, the kelpies. We did come one night um, with my mum and dad, actually mum and dad, I think Peter and Jill were here. So if I can find those pictures, because it was dusk I think, I'll put those in for you right now. So as you come towards the Kelpies, there's so many places to sit. Obviously there is quite a bit of noise at the minute because they're getting it ready. It is peak season coming up to here. Edinburgh the festival starts in August. It's only May, but they get things ready, you know? One bit of bad news for people living in Falkirk. Not so much me and my father, no? Because we like to say, Falkirk get renegated this year. So they're now in League One. League Uno. So yeah, shame for them. <laughs> Not so much for me. It's just so picturesque with the water flowing through the loch behind me. The loch, sorry, not the loch, wrong different loch. But there they are, guys. Alright, guys, as you walk towards the Kelpies, in front of the camera to the right slightly, you might not see, you might not, the motorway. See the traffic on it? It's right there. So that's probably what 200 yards away. But you can't hear a thing. Can't it? Can't hear it. You would think you were in the middle of nowhere. By the canal and the water flowing behind me, you can't hear it. I think it is so peaceful here. And there they are, guys. A bit closer up for you. Now, you have to go inside one of these. I don't know if you can, can now or not, because the door seems to be shut on this one. Um, I want to see if I can find out what, why they built them, and why they built them here for you. I think kind of reason know why they did, but they obviously they used to use the horses on the canals. I think that's what they mean, but I'm not 100% sure. Being honestly, but what I do, I'll get actually to put in a link below. In regard to the Kelpies on their website as well. Because you can do so many activities here, you know. You can shop, you can discover. It's 
quite cool. Very relaxing. Everyone's having a picnic. It's awesome. All right, guys, you can't go inside. But now you can't go for free. Well, I think you can, but it's a tour. Um, yeah, it's a tour. I'm just walking. Up. I'm just walking past the canal. There's a boat in front of me, uh, behind me now. Here, I thought I was going to go. I just want to go through one of these locks. Keep it backwards and forwards. You're trying to work out where you can go. The answer is nowhere, because everywhere you come up here is attached to a lock. I'm a bit close to the motorway, you can actually hear it, but they are. They are stunning. It is definitely worth coming. Now, I had some lunch, had some lunch before I came out. But now I think it's half past one. I think it's time for an ice cream. It's very windy, but I did see an ice cream van, so I want to see if I can get a 99. And I can tell you now, they are not nice not pens anymore. I can guarantee I have to pay for my flake and my sauce. Ridiculous. 99p, it's all I want. 99p ice cream, not £2.50. Let's find out. Alright guys, 99. Check. Mmm, price. £2.50. And that was £2.50 because I had a flake. Clearly flakes cost 5p at Tesco. Or Asda or Sainsbury's. So why does a flake at a 99 cost an extra 50 pence? And what does 99 cost? £2.50. And, well, £2 without a flake. Ridiculous. Hi right, guys, with you. I did moan about the price of a 99 for £2.50 with a flake. <laughs> Ridiculous. But oh my. Oh, it was delicious. It's like the first 99 I've had this year. And it was. I'll tell you worth £2.50. The sun was out, it was nice. I didn't sit down. I suppose I inhaled it because it was damn nice. But the sun has just gone in. It's wind's picking up a little bit. It's got warmer though, it's 19 degrees now. Does that mean a storm is brewing? There's still blue sky behind me. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know. I might go to another location, but I might not. I'm waiting for someone to come to meet me with some exciting and important material for us. So, if all goes well, he's on time, I will go to the location, otherwise, I'll just go home. We'll see.